Okay, well, good morning, all. I'm camping in uh, Ratcliffe State Park, I think it is, part of the uh, Davy Crockett Forest, and it's breakfast time. <laughs> I am going to start some coffee here. I did bring the jet boil this time, it's just so much faster for uh, heating up water. Okay, I brought uh, both the jet boil and the Stanley this time because I still needed my cups. And my toddler was helping me pack uh, yesterday. Helping. <laughs> she took off with my spoons, uh, my headlamp, and I <laughs> haven't figured out what else yet. Uh, so I'm going to be doing it finger food style this morning. Probably won't be able to make my oatmeal because there's no way to eat that unless I want to eat that with my fingers. Ew. Yuck. But I will do this and just shovel that thing in my face. And I've got granola bars and coffee, of course. We're back to the, uh, the AeroPress as per usual. <clears throat> That thing is so fast that the water is already starting to bubble a little bit on top. Not like that seven or eight minute uh, wait that I had last time when I was at Coda. Of course, it was really cold that day too. High 30s, low 40s. So today, we are a balmy 77 degrees this morning with uh, would say probably 90% humidity. It's pretty uh, thick out here. Slept okay last night in the uh, hammock over there. I'll, oop, I'll give you a tour of that in a little bit. Uh, it is the uh, hammock. Uh, mantis. All in one. Uh, it's the bug net. Has the rain fly and everything and it packs down very small it's very motorcycle friendly um, I don't know if I want to sit here and get ants on me or not <clears throat> so yeah the water's already starting to boil it's two minutes almost every time like clockwork uh, anyway so the uh, the mechanic Mantis uh, is very motorcycle friendly. It packs down small, only weighs uh, a little over two pounds. I think it's two point, what is it, two pounds, ten ounces, something like that. See, here we go. Not even two minutes. We'll have to go back to the tail of the tape on that. <laughs> it's insane. I'm going to have to reboil it when I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> I love jet boil. Uh, so this is my first real camping outing with the uh, Kamek Mantis. Uh, I like it. <clears throat> I don't have any complaints other than the uh, straps that they have uh, are very stretchy. I've had to adjust them twice. I've had to lift them up because I was drooping too low. And then the, uh, the second time it's just because the straps just you know stretch, 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 and I end up closer to the ground. So by this morning when I woke up, I was maybe four inches off the ground where I started 
you know, two and a half feet. So those uh, straps are pretty stretchy. This is their first real load test for a long period of time. So hopefully this stretch is all they're gonna do. Uh, and they won't continue to stretch like that. Otherwise, the straps are going in the garbage. The hammock is great though. <clears throat> I think we're done. Yep. Got all that goodness in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, back to doing coffee the hard way. Hey, don't you fall. So, again, the inverted brew method uh, on the arrow press. I pulled the plunger out to just past the four, which where it you know, stays in there. It's not going to fall off. There we go. Two cups of coffee. Okay, left that at a slow simmer, and that was a smart move. Now, the trick with the uh... yeah, the trick with this thing is it's always a little hot to get off of there. I'm gonna have to go grab my glove. I have been reinforced. The other little trick about the jet boil is, at least with mine, the uh, the thermal expansion really locks this thing in down there, and you can't uh, can't unscrew it very easily. And because I'm missing my spoons. I'll make do with whatever I've got. No one ever said motorcycle camping was glamorous. sit for about three minutes. Okay then. I'm gonna make my oatmeal and I'll figure out how to shovel it in my face. I was looking for a uh, convenience store, a fast food place, anywhere around here. Uh, that I could get some plastic wear and just, you know, borrow some from them. Uh -uh. <laughs> There's no fast food place, nothing anywhere around here for about 15 miles or so. Um, I had to go to another city 20 minutes one direction or 15 minutes another direction. No, sorry, 30 minutes one direction or 20 minutes another direction. I'll figure it out. Eat granola bars and figure out how to eat with my fingers. Don't eat the big white mint. Three quarter cup. Well, that would be like, what, six ounces? Can't even tell where I'm at in there, so we're just going to give it some and hope for the best. Howie, it's hot. Yeah, looks about right. Just enough for my oatmeal once I get the second one in there. Please up all of my trash. Coffee time. Yep. Oh, man, am I good or what? Three minutes. Actually, about three and a half. Okay. 
make sure I keep the logo on there for the coffee porn. Oh, yeah. Not having trouble pressing it out this time like I did last time. <laughs> I was sitting too far away from it and it was too low when I was in the tent last time I videoed this process. You have to press down on the plunger here fairly hard, probably about 15 pounds worth of pressure, maybe a little more. And uh, it presses out okay. You just have to have some leverage to get it done. There. Had a lot of people out fishing on this lake uh, last night, trolling around in little flat bottom boats. Uh, luckily, it was just trolling motors, so they weren't too noisy. Them talking across the water was louder than anything else because you know, water just echoes whatever sound. And uh, they were out here until dark, 8, 20, 8, 30, something like that, talking and laughing and cackling and making all kinds of noise. Just wondering how long they were going to keep it up. There we go, that's it. Trip, trip, trip. Get that last draw. Oh, yeah. Okay, then. Now, I'm going to get a bag this time and show you what I didn't show you last time because I was in a tent and I didn't want to make a mess. The uh, cleanup on this AeroPress is fantastic. So here's my trash bag. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. I'll get you in the foreground here. Okay, so you pop the cap and you end up with a few grounds on your coffee or on your strainer and then you just have a puck of coffee right here and dump that out. That's it. So you end up with all your grounds right there. To rinse this off, I just take a little bit of water, pour it across the top of that and I'm done. Same thing with the filter, it just rinses right off, so it's a nice little setup. I'll rinse that off in a minute and clean up my mess. Okay, well, long enough watching me make breakfast, I'm going to uh, start putting some of this down my face. See you later. No spoon, no problem.